The new year is almost upon us. But is it really a new year? Well, let's find out. At one second past midnight on January 1, the day will be changed from Thursday to Friday. Usually a transition of no special significance. But somehow we have decided that this change which will end one year and begin the next is different. This unique tick of the clock has always prompted us both to celebrate and to step outside the day-to-day -day activity we are always busy with to reflect, look back and assess how we did and resolve to do better. But is 31st December really the last day of a year? And is the 1st January really the first day of new year? It turns out that new year wasn't always on January 1. You might be surprised to know that New Year has a long and ancient history. In fact, the earliest recorded celebration is believed to date back some 4000 years in 2000 BC to ancient Babylon. The Babylonians celebrated the New Year at the first new moon after the vernal equinox, which is the moment in the year when the sun is exactly above the equator and the day as well as night are of equal length and this event usually happens around late March. The Babylonians celebrated the new year with 11 day festival called Akitu which involved a different ritual on each of its day. The holiday celebrated the mythical victory of the sky god Marduk over the sea goddess Tiamat and also involved the act of either crowning a new king or allowing the old king to continue his rule. Throughout time, different civilizations typically welcomed the new year during a significant astronomical or agricultural event. For example, the Romans, who celebrated in March following their lunar cycle. But that was until 46 BC, after which the emperor Julius Caesar introduced the Julian calendar which was to honor the January month's namesake Janus, the Roman god of beginnings whose two faces allowed him to look simultaneously into the past as well as the future. Caesar instituted January 1 as the first day of the year. On this newly dated holiday, the Romans celebrated not only by offering sacrifices to Janus, but also by exchanging gifts, attending parties and decorating their homes with laurel branches. But even Julius Caesar couldn't standardize the day. New Year's celebration continued to drift back and forth in the calendar, even landing on Christmas Day at some points. Until Pope Gregory XIII implemented the Gregorian calendar in 1582. The Gregorian calendar was an attempt to make the calendar stop wandering with respect to the seasons. Because the Julian calendar had a few extra leap years than was necessary, by the 1500s, the first day of spring came 10 days earlier. Though the selection of the new year is essentially based randomly from a planetary perspective, there is one noteworthy astronomical event that occurs around this time. The Earth is closest to the Sun in early January, a point known as perihelion. Today, the new year is celebrated in different ways all around the world, but typical new year's tradition include everything from toasting with champagne and eating food thought to bestow good luck to making resolutions for a coming years, a practice that's actually thought to have originated from the ancient Babylonians.